do you see, Sunan? And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one. This one begins a long time ago at a desert oasis. Far away. A place of mystery, wonder, and a temple to a hidden god. The guardian of this temple was a proud man, kingly in nature, but not in fact. A protector of holy wisdom. And this protector had a wife, a scholar who spent her days reading ancient tomes and deciphering the secrets of the desert. Together they had a son, in whom they hoped to instill all their skill and knowledge. The boy was to be a union of their love. But then it came to pass that the king of that land arrived to seize the temple for himself. The protector resisted. In the battle that followed, the boy was killed and the temple was taken. Struck with grief, the protector and the scholar separated. A king who kills a child is an ergi. They should kill him back. Indeed. But for a long time, the protector and the scholar followed solitary paths, seeking for a way to revenge their son. But in their isolation, they found only anguish and pain. Alone, they could do nothing but weep and thrash at the fates. After many fruitless years, they came together again to mourn their failure. They embraced as they had in their youth. And in that joining, they realized what was missing. Only the union that had produced their son would lead to their victory. So the Protector taught the Scholar to fight and ride and seek, while the Scholar taught the Protector wisdom and deep knowledge. As they trained and studied, they became inseparable, moving, eating, sleeping as one. They were never seen apart. Until one day, they met upon the river's edge. They had learned all they could, her from him, him from her. It was here they kissed and separated. She traveled east, he west. They were never seen again. It is said, however, that once every year, two eagles would return to that very spot to linger and look upon the sea. The people of the region like to see these eagles, for they are an omen, a symbol of protection. They turned into birds, like Loki became a salmon. Perhaps. Still, others say that the eagles were their children, born of a love that could never endure. But who is to say for sure? A stirring story. Fanciful, but sincere enough. Me? Fanciful? All of my stories are perfectly and mostly true. So glad to see you. Eivor. In Essex, I played a matchmaker and a heartbreaker. An easy way to forge an alliance. But let us stick to war and diplomacy. Understood. Thank you, Eivor. Something troubling has come. A letter from Alfgar and Lincoln. It seems the new elderman, Herefrid, has turned on them. When you are able, you should visit with him. See what this is about. <laughs> 